Tropical diseases affect more than a billion people in 149 countries around the world. But of the 1,500 new drugs developed between 1975 and 2004, only 21 were for tropical diseases, just about 1% of the total. Why? A lot of these diseases don't start getting uh, research and development dollars until they start affecting pa patients in rich countries. Ebola is not at all unique uh, in that respect. There are many, many diseases, uh, including Chagas, sleeping sickness, uh, malaria, that um, all lack uh, really modern effective treatments precisely because they affect patients primarily in poor countries uh, where the patients don't represent a market that motivates pharmaceutical companies to develop the drugs. Fundamentally, uh, while many governments and many individuals put forward the idea that all lives are equal, that's not how we practice in the world. Looking at the HIV epidemic, it took us far too long to get drugs that we had that we could have been producing generically, and millions died as a consequence. So we do unfortunately live in a world where uh, the lives of people in wealthy countries are more valued. We've set up a system that at present awards research and development that's focused on diseases that rich people suffer from. Uh, there's no magic reason the system has to be this way. It's not a law of nature. One major idea has been to offer prizes. Rather than having a patent monopoly that lasts for 20 years, you would offer a large prize uh, that would focus on how much impact a particular drug has on the health of a population. That way, if you did come up with a treatment for, say, Chagas disease or sleeping sickness or uh, a, a better treatment for uh, malaria or tuberculosis even, you would receive a prize and then that drug would be available generically. Want more? Download the AJ Plus mobile app and join the conversation. Available in your app store now.